Hi, welcome back to Mystic Chemistry. This is Electron Configuration of Silver AG lesson. Silver happens to be the 47th element on the periodic table. So we're going to write a 47. Right and its atomic mass unit, or the AMU, is 108. Since so the atomic number is 47, we're going to have 47 protons and 47 electrons. What about our neutrons? Well, remember that it's AMU minus protons equals neutrons. So we go 108 minus 47 gives me 61 neutrons. Pretty darn snarly, I'd say. So let's go ahead and clear that space up a bit. Plus, we like to have a clean slate, so to speak. <laughs> I'll get a clean slate. All right, anyway, so remember that the S subshell can hold two electrons, the P subshell can hold six electrons, the D subshell can hold 10 electrons, and the F subshell can hold 14 electrons. We're going to use the off-ball principle, which states we have to fill the lower shells first before we fill the upper shells using the diagonal rule. All we're going to do is follow these red arrows down until we run out of electrons. Pretty snarling, huh? So let's go ahead and get started. 1s2. Yeah. 2s2. See how easy this is? It just flows down the chart. 2p6, 3s2. Amazing. I love it. All right. 3p6, 4s2. 3d10, 4p6. Notice I'm stalling again. 3p10, 4p6. Because we're one away from filling the D shell. So we're only going to make this 5s1. And then we're going to make this 4d10. Snarled. It'll be much more apparent when you do this using the Hun's rule, okay? Hun's rule says an orbital notation do the up and down arrows first and every suborbit before you move on to the next suborbit. So look, up and down, up and down. Here's a perfect example of Hun's rule. 2px, 2py, 2pz, down, down, down. 3s, up and down. 3px, 3py, 3pz, again, this Hun's rule going in effect. All right, 4s, up and down. Then, of course, 3dx squared minus y squared, 3dxy, 3dyz, 3dxz, 3dz squared. Doesn't matter the size of the shells and the suborbits, you still have to follow that rule. It's an important rule. Okay, 4px, 4py, 4pz. Down, down, down. Now watch this, I'm gonna put only one arrow in the 5x, because if I do this, 40x squared minus y squared, 40xy, 40yz, 40xz, 4dz squared. Look at this, we now have five arrows to finish out that suborbit. And why do we do that? Well, technically, the 4d is lower than the 5s. So why do we get the 5s in the electrons to start with? Because it's easier to fill an S shell than it is a D shell. But when the time comes, you have to borrow back to complete the D shell. Okay, the nearest noble gas to silver, of course, is krypton. And now we're gonna look at our valence shell right here. And there it is. We're gonna make this 4D10, 5S1. And we're doing the numerical order. Now, it looks like it's in the fifth period, but remember that the D block is N minus one. So you would go five minus one, right? It would equal four. So the principal quantum number is four. It's in the D block, so the angle momentum number is going to be two. Now the magnetic number, okay, we're going to go and count those over on the N. Minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. Minus two, minus one, zero, one. So the number is going to be one. Because remember that pattern repeats itself. Okay. And let's look at the last arrow. That last arrow is going down. So it's going to be one half negative for our S value. Pretty darn snarly, eh? Well, listen, you guys be snarly and awesome. And we'll see you back here at Moussine Chemistry.